he choked me. And he just kept like choking my neck, kept choking my neck. And y'all, I, I blanked out. I was gone for a minute. my bells and welcome back y'all welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome also if you're new and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family y'all today i am trying the taco bell double steak grilled cheese burrito y'all i'm trying it i'm out and about and y'all excuse the line on my forehead i have my scarf on and the lining went away yet so it's all right. Every day gonna be all right. So I'm trying this, and I'm hoping that I'm not getting nothing on my white shirt because I'm going to a birthday party. So hopefully I don't drop nothing. You come to Taco Bell, they give you four sauces. I just don't know what they expect you to do with that, but we're gonna put this in my lap, the bag. Um, and we all, y'all, and I meant to bring my little tray because I was like I can do a video when I go out because I have to go get my MRI, you guys. Today is Sunday. Yes, they do MRIs on Sundays. And so I had to come to LA. And then my niece's birthday party is also today. So I'm like, I'm not going all the way back home. So I may as well just get all the way dressed so that I could just go to the birthday party afterwards. Come to find out the birthday party is only like seven minutes away from where I'm at. The birthday party don't start until one. It's not even 12 yet, y'all. So I'm stuck like a duck. So I was like, let me do a video. And I meant to bring my little tray to go over my steering wheel. And I forgot it. So we're going to try this burrito, y'all. I got me some chips because I had to go to the 99 cent store to get a um, a gift bag. I had to go get a gift bag for the baby girl that says happy birthday. So I got the gift bag. So I was like, I may as well get me some chips instead of going to Taco Bell and buy a whole meal. I didn't want to buy a whole meal. I don't think I needed to buy a whole meal and I didn't want to buy one. So I got me some chips and I also got a grape soda y'all it was calling my name because it was sitting here and I haven't had grape soda in a very long time so I wanted one but we're gonna try this burrito y'all probably said lady stop talking so much and show us the food I am so I went into my nice sister I was in line for about 50 minutes it seemed like just by that so y'all this is the so I'm assuming this is like, it doesn't smell too great. You know, it doesn't smell that great. And I think it comes with the meat, some like little chips. I think I saw rice in it, cheese. Um, I don't know what else, but I'm gonna try it. You know. So it's a grilled cheese. And that's the only cheese that's on it. It's that little part right there. It's the only thing is cheese. It's a guy sitting next to me. He's probably watching me like, what is she doing? Why is she showing the phone or food like that? Because I'm grown and I do what I want to do. No, I'm just kidding. Out. But we're going to try this here burrito. I'm going to try it without um, sauce on it. All that they only gave me four. I just seen Dante this burrito and he was eating that burrito like it was the last burrito on earth he was saying how good it was it does have good flavor it does um i'm gonna try it with some hot sauce now some hot secret sauce uh, dante was eating that burrito like it was the bomb and it is good So I think there's rice, the meat, of course, and little corn chips. Cheese. I don't think there's any beans in it. I don't think. But it's good. I'm trying to see where this double beef come in at. There ain't no double beef. Uh, double beef. I guess maybe that one and that one makes double. Because ain't nothing double about it. At all. 
how y'all doing today, y'all? Y'all get this video be Tuesday, so happy Taco Tuesday. Y'all can, you know, you can have tacos any day that you want to have them. So I went to Taco Bell. But happy Taco Tuesday, y'all. Today is the Sabbath. Today is actually Sunday. And I drove, excuse me, an hour and four minutes to come and do my MRI where they have the machine that's open. So I wasn't as nervous as I was with the other one. But I'm just like, why y'all didn't send me to this one from the get-go? Y'all should send everybody to this one. So they, just in case they scared. But when you do call to make the appointment, they do ask you, or well, you don't call them, they call you. You don't call them, they call you. They do ask you, are you claustrophobic? And I did tell the lady, no, I didn't know that I was claustrophobic though. I really didn't. But I guess you find out things as you get older. And the older I get, I guess I'm finding out that I am claustrophobic. Oh, let me lock my door. I don't know nothing about this neighborhood. But, so I guess you find out, I guess I found out that I am Indeed, claustrophobic. You guys, when I was younger, I was like a little girl. Not a little girl. I probably was about nine or ten, so a little girl. I was probably about nine or ten. And um, my brother, I, he did something. I said something to him or he did something to me. And something I did, I don't know what I did to him. I don't remember what I did. But the man choked me, y'all. Choked me out. He wasn't a man then. He was a boy. He choked me and he just kept like choking my neck, kept choking my neck. And y'all, I, I blanked out. I was gone for a minute. Cause when I woke up, I heard somebody say, you could have killed that girl. And I was like, who? Fool you, you, the lady who said who? The girl who said who, y'all, my brother. And y'all probably say, well, how did that come about as claustrophobic? Because that's a sign of... I don't want to be smothered with a pillow. So, you know, I mean, he didn't smother me with a pillow. He choked me. I don't remember what I did to him, but he didn't want to choke me. I probably didn't do nothing. He just used to, like, bother me all the time. So, he did choke me. But I've also been smothered with a pillow before. Just like cousins playing and we'll put the pillow over your face. And I didn't like that. So I guess I am claustrophobic. I don't know. I mean, I don't think anybody want to pillow over their face, so I wouldn't think you would. So I, yeah, I guess. So I guess I am claustrophobic. I didn't know that I was, because like I said, I've done MRIs before. I've done several of them before, and I wasn't nervous. But that particular time, at that one, I was nervous, very, very nervous. You guys, this burrito has good flavor, but the double beef thing, that's a lie. Because y'all look, this is just rice. I don't know where the double beef is. Where's the beef? Like, where's that commercial? Where's the beef? Yeah, there's no double beef in this burrito. So I don't know. Talk about y'all get an F for no meat. The flavor is good. The flavor is quite tasty. But I'm still trying to figure out where the double beef at. Maybe it's at the bottom. I got to get all the way to the bottom first. I don't know. But uh, there's nothing double beef about this burrito. Nothing. And the beef is kind of like chewy. Kind of chewy, chewy. Like. I don't know, but there's no double beef in this burrito. There ain't no beef in this burrito, y'all. Everybody that I have taken, look, there's like, they put one little piece of beef over there. Y'all see it? Y'all see that? One little bitty piece. But when you see it on the, 
the little billboard. It looked like it's oozing with this. I'm gonna put a picture right here. So y'all can see how it looks. But you know, false advertisement. But see, a burrito is a surprise. Like you can get a burrito from a place and you think this burrito is about to be full of something. It's kind of like a surprise because you don't go through a drive-thru or you don't go to a place and then you open the burrito up. You bite it. So that's when you get the surprise. If it's a lot of meat or if it ain't a lot of meat. If it's too many beans, if it ain't enough beans. If it's too much rice, not enough rice. You don't see that until you bite it. Like I just did. So yeah. But like I said, the flavor is good. The burrito does have good, good flavor, but the double beef is not in here. I don't know where they put the double beef at, but it ain't in this. Not the burrito they gave me. I don't know if somebody else had double beef, but I did it. I'm not eating nothing but rice, y'all. Look. Do y'all see that? Taco Bell, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's all I'm eating is rice. That's all. This drink is not even cold anymore. I stood in the line so long. Oh, yeah, they have these big candy canes. It's a sweet tart candy cane. I love sweet tarts. So I was like, I might like this candy cane. I might actually not be eating this one because it's open. Um, I like stale candy canes, so I may keep this candy cane for some years. I bought two of them. So I may keep them for a couple of years so that it can get soft. But I've never had a fruity candy cane that was stale. I always like the mint ones that are stale. I actually have two big like peppermint sticks in my trunk that's like this big. I think I've had them for about, I want to say about three years now. They're probably good and stale, so they're probably wonderful. I like stale candy canes. Nobody else probably do, but I do. Well, my auntie does. She likes them too. Y'all, I'm over them. <laughs> the double beef burritos. There ain't nothing double about it. Ain't nothing in there double. Nothing. They lied. They lied. They lied. They lied. Mm. So go get you one and try it. And tell me if they put more meat in yours. I know Dante said he paid eight dollars for his burrito. Or eight ninety nine or something like that. I don't know if he got the meal. I didn't. I just got the burrito and it was six dollars and fifty six cents for some rice, cheese, and some type of sauce, because it had no beef in it. And some chips that's all they had in it because it didn't have no beef no well it had a couple of pieces of beef but it didn't have no double beef like they said double beef taco bell quit lying to people you cannot put on your thing double beef and you give a person a strip a, a steak a strip it probably was one long strip that they put in there chopped it up and put it in the burrito but my rice my burrito was full of rice if I was a violent person. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Honey. If I was a violent person, I would literally go in there and throw the burrito back at them and say, they ain't nothing double about this. But I'm not violent, y'all. That ain't who I am. I am not she. But you probably get somebody who, now I don't understand why he gotta come park over here by me. It's a million parking spaces, y'all. A million of them. A million of them. And they won't come park next to my car. I guess they say, who is she talking to? None of your business. But they backed up. I guess they want to eat their food, too. So they bag it up. They don't know that there's somebody in that car that they parking next to. It's a man in there. A little boy, rather. He's not a man. He's Well, he's grown. He's grown. But he he's young. I'm probably old enough to be his mama. And uh, I think, I think he's living in his car because when he opened up the door, I saw a bunch of clothes in it. But the, um, because the car actually looks abandoned. It doesn't look like somebody belongs to the car. It looks like it's an abandoned car and it's just sitting there. But when he came over here, he, he went and got some food from somewhere. I don't know from where, but 
he came over here and when he opened the door you could see it was full of stuff as if like he's living there and i could be wrong um, he could just be carrying stuff in his car because that's what he want to do and that's his business not mine huh y'all probably say that's his business why are you worried about it i don't know we worry about everybody's business everybody worry about somebody's business if you say you don't you lying We be in everybody's business. I know I do. I ain't gonna lie and say I don't. That's the lady who gave me that burrito with no um, meat in it. I should have a talk with her. She come and bring somebody their food out to their car. Yeah, but I'm about to go. I tried the burrito. Go get you one. It got good flavor. But tell her to make sure they put the double beef in it. Don't leave the beef out. Tell them you want the double beef burrito with the beef. Not without it. Because they showed it put none in my burrito. And I showed it to y'all. I should have open it up to see but for it to be a double beef burrito I didn't see the double so if I was grading this out of 10 I would probably give it a a six because of the fact as they did not put enough beef you cannot call it a double beef burrito and you don't put the double beef it, it, you can't do that so I say I'll give it a, a six out of ten Ooh, excuse me so, but like I said the flavor was good the flavor was good but the only flaw they had was it wasn't a double beef burrito it seemed like it wasn't a no beef burrito like I went up there and I said give me the um, double beef burrito vegetarian style that's what it seemed like I went and got because it was a double or beef up in it y'all but I'm about to go don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with every and anybody that you know and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I, yes me, post a video. Love you guys, bye. Mwah. Oh, don't forget to wash your hands and wear your mask. Bye y'all.